Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make a super capacitor at home and I will tell you each details, each secrets of making a super capacitor. I have a lot of videos on my channel about making super capacitors, but in some videos under the section command people told me that uh, you hide a battery into the tube. So these uh, videos are fake videos, not real video. So in order to show you uh, this uh, homemade super capacitor is uh, real, it's working, I will show you the inside of my homemade supercapacitor and i will tell you each details how you can make these kinds of supercapacitor first of all we will test our supercapacitor charge it and test it after that i will um, open it up show you inside the supercapacitor and i will tell you how you can make your own supercapacitor commercial looking own supercapacitor okay this is my last uh, homemade supercapacitor this is 1.3 volt and 100 farad as you see inside it so i just open it up to show you inside the um, super capacitor i will tell you which electrolyte i used which active material and which separator i use i will tell you each details okay so first of all uh let's measure the voltage inside it and after that i will charge my super capacitor because of the shape it's not uh, standing over here so i will put it in a glass to stand it now i will uh, measure the voltage initial voltage inside it <coughs> Just set it to voltage mode, positive and the negative. As you see, we have about uh, 0 0.4 volt, almost it's uh, almost empty. Now I will charge it and after that we will test our supercapacitor. Okay, my friends, I've got my charger here. I will charge my supercapacitor with one amp, about one or two minutes until 1.3 volt. Uh, in order to uh, charge the supercapacitor up to 1.3 volt, I need to see here 1.8 volt. So don't say you charged uh, the supercapacitor. You don't. You overcharge it. It shows. Uh, it's shown 1.8 volt. In order to uh, charge this capacitor onto 1.3 volt, I need uh, see here 1.8 volt. So I will charge it. Just connect the negative and the positive. Okay, set it to one amp and just charge it. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't want to overcharge the supercapacitor. Uh, as you see, it took about uh, more than six minutes. So I was mistaken. I said this is 100 uh, farad supercapacitor, but according to the charging, this capa its capacity is uh, 300 farad. So let's measure the voltage after charging. Let's uh, measure the voltage inside it. Okay, my friends, as you see, it has 1.2 volt, 1.2 volt. Now I'm going to, uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, discharge my supercapacitor and after that I will make some other test on it. Wow, you see? <sighs> ah. <laughs> Uh, it can charge very fast and it can discharge very fast. So, okay, now I will run this DC motor with my homemade supercapacitor. Okay, as you see, it can run the DC motor very fast. Look, my friends, only the supercapacitor, nothing uh, else, nothing hidden battery or anything else.
This supercapacitor can run this DC motor for about 20 or 25 minutes, so it's pretty good. It can charge very fast and it can discharge very fast. You see? Okay, my friends. Again. See? And just now I will pull out the super capacitor from the plastic tube and show you inside it and after that I will tell you how you can make your own super capacitor. Okay my friends I will just pull out As you see, it's still wet. It is in electrolyte. Now, first of all, let me tell you which electrolyte I used for uh, my supercapacitor. Takes this electrolyte into here. Uh, as an electrolyte, you can use uh, water-based sodium hydroxide or water-based um, Epsom salt, I mean magnesium sulfate. But if you, go, if you are going to use magnesium sulfate, be careful that you have to put uh, a surfactant into it. It could be methanol or ethanol, it could be acetone or uh, acetonitril. Also, you can use uh, dish detergent or just soup because um, if you are going to use magnesium sulfate due to the surface tension of water, the active material, I mean the supercapacitor, will not um, soak the electrolyte, so your, electro, uh, your supercapacitor will not work. So if you are going to use uh, water-based sodium hydroxide, there is no problem. But if you are going to use magnesium sulfate, you have to use a surfactant, methanol, ethanol or dish detergent. And after that, your supercapacitor will work. Now, in this supercapacitor, I've just used uh, sodium hydroxide because uh, the compatibility of sodium hydroxide and copper foil in up to 60% uh, of water solution, it's good, it's, comp it's compatibility is good, so there's no problem with that. Now, let's uh, open the supercapacitor and show you inside it. As you see my friends, as the current collector, I've just used copper foil. You can also use uh, aluminum foil, but if you use aluminum foil, you need to use a different type of uh, electrolyte. See, I have two uh, pieces of copper foil between two separator. You see, it's a little bit damaged. I've just made this stripper capacitor about uh, two months ago and used it many, many times. So it's a little bit oxidized. You see the active material on the copper foil on both sides and um, separator, the other separator and the other uh, copper foil and activated material on that so now let me tell you how you can make your own uh, homemade supercapacitor as you see in order to make a homemade supercapacitor you need two pieces of current collector as i said you can use um, copper foil you can also use aluminum foil and if you use um, copper foil or aluminum foil do you have to choose the correct right um, electrolyte for aluminum foil you can use um, sodium sulfate but again don't, don't uh, forget that you need to use um, surfactant material and uh, for copper foil you can use sodium hydroxide you can use um, epsom salt 
it will work with um, copper foil and as a separator you can use um, two pieces of regular paper if you have money and if you can find special materials special separator you can use them but if you don't have money and couldn't find the special material you can also use a uh, regular paper or post machine uh, paper will work um, for this capacity i've just used a uh, post machine paper as you see here and um, as an active material the most important part is an active material in a lot of videos i show you that how you can make prepare your uh, active material uh, in this active material, I put um, 10 or 20 grams of, of activated carbon. And if you if you put 10 grams of activated carbon, you have to you put uh, 2 grams of graphite, ultrafine graphite powder inside it. And uh, add some water until it becomes slurry form. You have to also use a binder. As a binder, you can use PVA, uh, regular white glue. You can use... Um, sodium silicate or you can use polyvinyl alcohol uh, you can use uh, some waterproofing paint material you can also use acrylic paint uh, as a binder and the ratio of the binder should be um, 1 to 10 10 grams of active material 1 grams of uh, binder will be enough uh, for preparing active material if you want to learn how to make this uh, active material there's a video on my channel you can visit that video and uh, watch it and learn how to make your active material when you uh, prepare your active material you will just uh, paint your current collector with the brush both sides of them paint um, evenly as much as possible and just um, let them to dry after they completely dry just uh, roll it up and put in a plastic tube plastic container just like this and after that your super capacitor is ready to use but i recommend you to wait for about um, a few days because when you put the electrolyte your super capacitor should soak the electrolyte completely uh, right after you finish your supercapacitor and if you test it, it will not work uh, very efficiently. But after a few days, it will work 100% uh, uh, efficiently. So you will get a very nice, very beautiful uh, homemade supercapacitor. Okay, my friends, we get the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe my channel and take care of yourself. See you in the next videos, my friend.